These wound coops are going to benefit anybody who's interested in helping other people. Schools, churches, police departments, fire departments. It just brings a different level of training that was previously unavailable. We added four realistic wound patterns. We've got a small bore gunshot wound. We've got a large bore gunshot wound. We've got a laceration. And then we've got a very, very small 5.56 five, penetrating trauma. The tissue feel gives it realistic simulation to what you're going to encounter when you're really trying to save a life. The semi-transparent material we used gives instant feedback for the instructor and the student during training. This is a pretty ingenious device um, because each side has different wounds that you could be working on or lacerations that you get the practice of packing with gauze. One of the really cool benefits of the cube was you're able to actually see your progress when you're packing it. It's not necessarily straight down. Um, you have to find the nooks and crannies of the wound. You can't just go straight down and assume that that's gonna cover it. The wound cube, it solves a problem that we continually see in medical training, and that's 90% lecture, 10% lab. At the end of a 90 minute lecture, two hour lecture, they'll go in the back of the room and they'll pack once or twice. The wound cube, the whole purpose, put the cubes in front of the students, have them pack 12 times for 90 minutes to two hours. That means muscle memory, tactile reinforcement, all the things we know are the keys to good training. I learned different ways on how to address wounds, um, how to address whether they would be life-threatening or not, specifically how to pack different types of wounds, whether it be a laceration or a bullet hole or a stab wound or something like that. All of us here at Focus Research hope to see wound packing as common as CPR and first aid. Let's save a lot of lives together. <laughs>